I'm Mark Edelman, First Tech Challenge Affiliate Partner for Northern California and one of the members of the FTC Game Design Committee. Before we debut this year's First Tech Challenge game, I wanted to spend a couple of seconds to talk to you about one uh, principle really important to FIRST, gracious professionalism. It really is a key distinction of the progression of programs at FIRST. And there's a bunch of ideals all rolled into one. Collaboration, cooperation, competition, respect, integrity, sensitivity, compassion, and empathy. The FTC game manual tells us what to do as we go about competing, and gracious professionalism tells us how. Make sure to pay attention on and off the field to opportunities to display gracious professionalism, and remember that tournament officials are always on the lookout for great examples, both on and off the field. Good luck, teams. With that, let's turn our attention to Joe Prado, another of the members of the FTC Game Design Committee, for an introduction to this year's FTC game. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Baxter. As a member of the Game Design Committee, People are always asking me, how do you guys come up with such great games year after year? Well, we start by talking to the teams. The teams uh, tell us what they like and don't like about last year's game, and they tell us what they'd like to see in a new game. No, Baxter, we're not doing a water game this year. We also talk to our suppliers to find out what new things they're coming out with to see if it makes sense to incorporate that into a game. We'll talk to the uh, industry to find out how robots like Baxter here are actually being used. Then we gather together a bunch of creative people from around the country for a brainstorming session. We generate a lot of really cool ideas that we then distill down into one or two games that we think are gonna be challenging enough for a returning team, but also something that a, a rookie team would enjoy. We'll prototype a field, put together a test robot, and create a draft set of rules. When we're ready, we review these with some key people. We'll take their input, we'll finish up the field design, We'll finalize the rules, and at that point, we're ready for kickoff. So, on behalf of FIRST, the Game Design Committee, and Baxter, I'd like to invite all of you to a block party. Introducing the 2013-2014 FIRST Tech Challenge. FTC Block Party. A team consists of two driver operators, a coach, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18 inch sizing cube. But after the match begins, the robot can grow to any size. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your alliance partner for one match may be your opponent in another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and 1-foot high walls. The scoring element is a 2-inch square yellow block. There are 100 blocks in the game, which are randomly placed in the front and rear block zones. In the center of the field are the bridge, the pull-up bar, and two pendulums, each with four pendulum goals. Below the pendulums are the floor scoring areas. Each alliance has a raisable flag in the corner of the field. Taped stripes can help guide the robots and separate the two alliances. And the red and blue alliance stations are located just outside the playing field. The four robots are placed on the field, touching the walls in their respective alliance zones. Teams may preload one block into each robot. Two infrared beacons are placed randomly under the pendulum goals, one for each alliance. Each match begins with a 30 second autonomous period, followed by a two minute driver controlled period, which includes a 30 second end game. During the autonomous period, a block scored in a pendulum goal is worth 20 points or 40 points if it's above an infrared beacon. Blocks scored in a low goal count five points each. If a robot parks partially on the bridge, it counts 10 points. And if it's fully on the bridge, it counts 20 points. When the driver controlled period begins, low goal blocks count one point each. Blocks scored in the inner pendulum goals count two points or three points for the outer goals. 
During the end game, robots may continue to score blocks, and if your pendulum is balanced at the end of the match, you get a 50% bonus added to your block score. If you can raise your alliance flag, it counts 20 points in the low position or 35 points in the high position. And finally, if your robot can hang above the bridge, it's worth 50 points. There are a number of penalties to help keep the game exciting but fair. For example, robots may not possess or control more than four blocks at any time. Your robot may not interfere with an opposing alliance's robot trying to hang. And during the end game, your robot may not block access to the flag zone. Please carefully read the game manual for the complete rules and penalties. And always remember, gracious professionalism. Good luck, teams!